Hey guys, welcome back. Sushi Stew here with another app review for you. This app is one that uh, there's not many out there that can compete with. You may remember Email++ from previous Blackberries. We now have Hub++ Disco. This has some cool options in it. All the APIs are not released yet from BlackBerry, so there will be many, many updates and options coming. So we'll go through what it has right now. Right off the bat, top, you can have Hub turned on or off. Message preview, timeout. So this is a pop-up of emails and messages that come. I have mine set for 20 seconds. Message preview is turned on. I have vibrate on and LED on. So with this app, what you want to do is make sure your LED for messages, text messages, emails is turned off on the device. Not on the hub app, but in the device settings. From here, there's no, no other options in this section. We go down to the very bottom there. You have Hub++, which is what we're in, our accounts. This is where we can change um, the options per account. So right now we have Gmail, Hotmail, text messages, and Facebook, Twitter, work email. So under Gmail, we'll start there. You can have the message preview. There we go. Visual notification, the preview. Length 131. And drop that down a bunch. Turned on. LED is on. The color. We can change the color. Red, yellow, blue, and so on. There's lots to choose from. Red, yellow, green. We can have it repeat. We can have a pattern. There's wave, SOS, disco, or blink once and the speed normal fast and slow now down to the sound and vibrating notification we can change our tone many built-in tones here repeat is off vibrate is on and the length I have set to short there is extra extra long extra long long medium short extra short extra extra short so lots of options and remember this was all just for our Gmail when we turn on an option it gives us um, a test so it just vibrated for me so if we want to change um, there's the LED going and its pattern uh, the tone if we change that it changes and gives us a test um, let's see that one's alright we'll save that one and we hit save so that account is saved here's the accounts remember mm -hmm. you want to go into hotmail pull your options down to the beginning preview LED the color is green it's flashing green we can change that. Let's go red, white, and blue. Our pattern. Mm, we'll leave it as SOS. Speed. Go fast. Tone. That's the one we just chose. So we're not going to use that one. Machine poo. Interesting title. I'm not sure I'm going to keep that one. Uh, let's go gentle alarm no not for me filling in box why not length extra short short medium mm. for vibrate and it just tested the vibration we'll save that it's good and you can go into text messages and the last account was Facebook Twitter and work email and it catches all three of them I have this turned off just because I don't really care about those accounts very much 
but oh well it's up to you guys and then there's also filters you can create a filter so select account gmail so and so from choose a contact okay priority so and so notifications preview is on LED is on add filter it's saved so now I have one filter in here you can hold it down which brings out the delete button right here I deleted that I'm good to go and make more or keep the one I had remember your options down at the bottom accounts filters and the hub and this is your hub here if you have both system notifications and hub plus plus notifications set up for the same account it may make the notifications hard to understand it is strongly recommended that you disable system notifications for the message types you control with hub plus plus which I told you in the first right good so what you need to do oh, there's more you can follow them on Twitter invite people to download set a personal message and rate hub plus plus back button facts and feedback so if you have an option you would like to see on here throw them an um, email in the feedback perfect it might be added you never know with new APIs coming from BlackBerry there will be lots added that's hub plus plus you need to leave it running for it to take effect the API for background apps is not out yet so keep that in mind it needs to be running as you can see mine up here it says monitoring so it's working away doing what it's supposed to do and I'm definitely enjoying this with the extra tones and options that I can change the uh, LED and vibration control really cool so check it out on BlackBerry World guys that's Hub++ for the BlackBerry 10 device follow me on Twitter at Sushi Stew check out my blog SushiStewPB.TK and subscribe to me on YouTube and keep up to date thanks for watching guys peace out